Hi everyone, it's Christine here. So I'm just gonna make a little project um, for Paper Inspirations. I'm one of the ladies on the creative design team. And so um, Sue sent me some um, coffee dyed, um, this like card, card stock. And I received this, so um, I'm, we're going to have a little play. This is a file folder die set that you can um, get in Sue's shop. Oh, if I can get it out. Oh, it's stuck to the, the sticky tape in there. And um, let's see if I can get it out. Get that out first. So everything that I use, I will link in the description box and the links will take you directly to the section that these are in. So um, isn't this gorgeous? This is so sweet. Um, so I'm just going to, I can get two out of this. So we're just going to make a little project. I want to put this about half. Just get that and that. So it's quite thick, but isn't the pattern just gorgeous? Love it. So, oops. So I'll just get my my boards. So I'll put it up as close as I can to the top. Now I'm thinking about how I want that pattern. Now that's the front. Yeah. So because I want this pattern on the front, I'm making sure that the die is laid down on top of that. I don't know if I need those. Okay, so I do need this in here for my cuttle bug. Now, I just need to make sure that I've got a bit of tape here just to hold that in place. go there and I'll just do this off camera so um, I'll put those there so you can look at those <laughs> okay that didn't I but it's only on the edge that I don't need so thank goodness for that isn't that gorgeous love that this is going to be the sweetest little project isn't that gorgeous love it okay so we're just going to do this other one as well 
we'll get that. Now this one, will be, how do I want that one? Yep, we'll make that the same. I can turn it over, but um, I won't bother about it. This washi tape out it might have been a little bit too sticky for this project but that's all right um, I can chuck that out now and we're finished with those for the moment <coughs> so you, with the set you also get this tab so which is great to um, work with as well oh they are so adorable and this is the um, like note paper pack that you can get from Sue shop so I'll link that in I actually got this in one of the mystery boxes which was awesome so um, we're going to use some of that. Now, what I want to do with these is I'm just going to stack them on top of each other. And because the reason why I cut it that way is you can, I can put it that way, but I want to make a pocket in the middle. Um, but it just looks funny if you fold it that way. So um, if you put it this way, and stack them then at least you've got a nice um, decorative tab you can put the pocket in here because the way we glue it we'll just glue along there along there along there and you and the back has got a nice print as well so it's just something little that you can put into a pocket so or you can just have it attached um, to the side of a journal page so what we want to do though first before we attach them together is I just want to get some of these papers and I'm just going to put, let's get that the right size. First. And I might try and use, I'll do the same, I'll do on top of there so we know the size that we want okay 
Okay, so we've got one of each of those and we've got this for scraps later and we've got that and we can reuse bits off of this as well. So we'll put that aside. Okay, so I just want to look how dark this so this is the coffee dyed paper. Oh, that's what I needed to measure first before I go too far ahead. I'll just put them together. And just want to and those we're keeping for um, collaging and now we can fold these so we've got two pieces in each so we're going to put that in there so cute very adorable and Side there and that one can go in there like that so that you've got two little folders at the moment with um, the pages in one two three four pages so you've actually got eight eight single pages so now I want to um, Sew them in. Now what do I need? Now I'm actually going to sew them in with uh, some dental floss. Um, just because it's quite thinner. Because I've got thicker things, but it's for this tiny little project, it's too thick um, for those. So we'll just get out our clips because we can hold those together. Right. And I want to be able to um, I'm only going to put two holes in. And I'll have the tie on the inside, and there is a reason for that. Um, so then I don't have the bows interfering with the, the spine. Okay. So I've got my, I'm just eyeballing it. You can measure it in if you like. Um, so for example, I'm just putting two holes in it. So I would probably, from the edge of the cover, I reckon just come in three quarters of an inch. Yep, and it happens to be right there. just on the inside there of that line it's good having graph paper that worked out really well and we'll do the same here we're just coming in three quarters of an inch and then that one three quarters of an inch again oh that's right on that line that's pretty cool that makes it easier over here okay so dental floss is really quite good um, so I'm just going to do two lengths and put it in here so because I want the um, the knot on the inside, I'm going to come from the inside and then to here. 
and then just tying a knot like that. And trying very carefully to do a second knot. And it's quite fiddly. Ah. So once you've got that. Okay, so the good thing using the dental floss is that um, when you pull it tight, it pulls it all tight. It's actually quite good. So I'm just going to do another knot. And as you can see, it's um, it's great for inside of the journal. It's very thin. It's not um, interfering with the folding um, of this little journal. Okay, so we'll just do the same with that one. <clears throat> I know you can get um, things that help you um, thread needles. I think I'm going to have to get one. second knot right so they're done just put my pin away so I don't lose it Right, so then you can decide what one you think you want as the top. I'm thinking I'm, I lo love this little um, flower. Um, now, yeah, so I'll glue it together now. Glue it together first. Before we go any further so we're just let me get the glue out first it's not the just need a pin for that So we're just going to go down this side. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just had to stop the camera and fix up this glue bottle. Get the glue out. So we're just going down the top side, down this side here, the spine, and then along the bottom, and that creates a pocket. And you just stack that on top of each other like that and just make sure that they marry up. Like that. Just hold them together for a bit. My back glue. 
starts doing its job. Now I'm just using PVA glue, so you can use stronger glue if you wish. And you can see that spine there. Just making sure that that just holds love these patterns absolutely gorgeous okay so that's what it looks like now joined together so you've got all these little pages in here you've got a little pocket in there oh what you could have done was um you can do a notch before you glue it together but it's too late for me now i think I don't think I'd get it in there. But that's all right. I'll add something to the um, the tag. So just remember your notch first before you glue it. That's if you want a notch. You don't have to. Um, you can do what I'm going to do. So if you like, or you might have your own ideas. So and. Now, love that, that's so cute. Now we've got that little pocket in here. We can add a little pocket here as well. So I've got some of um, Kath Holden's flea market finds. So you can find those in Sue's shop. So it's got all these different types of labels. But what I'm going to do is with this scrap, let me just get see that'll make a good journal card. So So let's make a little journal card to go in here. Now, just remember you've got your glue in here, so we don't want it too wide. Um, they're a bit skinny for this, actually. I need something thicker. Yep, that one. So that's the one that I need. So we'll just cut that down. I will tear it. See, and I've got that sort of tear mark already. So like I said, we don't want it too big. We want it to fit in this little pocket just nicely between the glue. I might need to take that down a bit actually. Let's see if that fits better this time. And I want to... Just curve the edges. Let's try this again. Yep. Now it's not going to go all the way down to the bottom of that. See how I, that's as far as I can push it. So I've got a lot there, a lot of space left there. So what we might do is just tear that off. Again, that's a piece, beautiful piece of coffee dye paper that we can use in, in a collage. Now I'm just thinking...
Now I'm going to use this tie. So this is what came with Sue's pack of um, coffee dyed note papers. So I'm going to use that. So I'm adding a pink theme to this. So we will just have a look at these. So I want to put a little tab on here. So I want to use one of these. If I can find something that I think I would like to use. Now I've got this, this sticker. I'm, I'm not keen on the white around it. So I'm just going to cut that white off. got Basil in my craft room today and I'm thinking he's wanting to go out okay so what we'll do is I'll just clean up this edge like that now That'll go in like that. Might actually do it that way. Let's have a look. I love making little things, but they're so fiddly. Now, I'll just add that on there and then I'll fold it the non-sticky way first and then I know exactly where. Because I don't really want it to stick. Um further than this this tab here yeah that's it we can do that and that holds that yeah and that brings out that little journal card then so I just want to ink that here go in there now got this piece here now this is a great little journaling spot here too but I'm thinking I might just put pockets either end something like that um, what I might use though is this paper just so that it's not um, just gonna I just don't want it too thick and the card stock altogether is quite thick and I'll do the same size inside the other inside the front cover okay so 
This is so dark. It's amazing. Actually, I might ink that first. I don't think the inking's going to do much. But... Now, I haven't put the notches in because I haven't notched that middle pocket. I feel I don't want to notch these two little pockets either. wipe that glue off that's coming out the side okay so we'll get this top one oh, so cute I'm sorry but I just think this is really love this little file um, folder die set it's, um, go on the inside of this front right so I want to do I love pink and um, that's so cute. Um, now, do that. So we are going to glue this onto the back. So we'll just make sure that we get the right length. And it will come in just under that. And I'm just going to put glue right along the back there. the halfway mark like that now I'm going to slip this oh you can slip it I, I, I won't I, I was going to slip it under the two um, dental floss but I'm just going to let it go around so that'll add to the feature so I might actually add some glue there and let that sit around that corner okay now so we've got up to that far now I've got these stamps also so these are from Sue as well actually that's sorry I'm jumping ahead I want to do some little um, little journal-y card things in there, but I want to use these stickers on the, the paper. So let me just show you what I mean. So we'll get some of these, get some of this tea dye paper. Just want to put this here like that. 
that. ink around that edge and I've sort of gone in onto the paper to get the sticker as well so it makes it quite a flimsy little um, tag but for this project we didn't want anything thick so I'm going to round those corners manually and I think I actually need to take some off and I'm just So that is that. So you can add it onto thicker paper if you wish. That is fine. And I do love these so. I'm going to add Now I'm just not sure which one, that one, actually I might add the brighter, brighter pink to the top here. Oops, sorry if I've put my head in the, the camera, I'm going to add that one there. So that can go there. Now we just need to, that tag's fine, just need to make one for here and that should be fine going in there. Yep. Just double check that. Now it needs to be a bit thinner. around those corners actually what I'll do is if I put them together like that I can get the same corner I should have thought of that earlier right let's get One of these others, one that matches in. Mm. There's so many stickers here, it's really quite amazing. In this one little book.
Nice. I'm going to go for the same one, so we'll just have the same front and back. Just wanted to make it into a tag like that one, so I'll use this one to get the same top. And you can add more things to this, um, like embellish the, the tags more and things like that. So what I'm going to do, though, now is do some stamping. Um, So this is the Kath Holden Flea Market Finds um, Miscellany Words. There's 14 words. So I just thought I will go through and add a couple of words. Not on every page, maybe just on the centre one. Um, let's see what words we want to use first before we decide how many we want to add. So we've got provisions, special, a token of friendship, home, vintage, souvenir, friendship, blessings, mercantile, miscellany, family, original, journal, fancy goods. So it really is a mixture of words. So I'm actually liking the idea. Of using vintage so these are Sue's um, acrylic blocks so you can buy them in a set of um, three so you've got three different sizes so they come in really really handy now where do we want to put this could put vintage journal at the bottom there, couldn't I? Like that. That would work. So let's do journal first. This is an interesting stamp. So this um, 
is actually, as you can see, the word is actually the white area, which is interesting. I like that. But in this one, where we make sure you get it up the right way. This one, the letters, the actual word is risen, not the background. Whereas that one, the background was risen, not the word. So that's quite interesting. There. All right. Now, let's see what we want to put in here. Now, where do I want to use this? So, depending on what you want to use this in, if you make it quite neutral, you can use it, use it in any theme. So I might add just a stamp in each center pages. So I might use friendship. So I've got two friendship ones. So I will use the friendship one in each of the centers. adding pressure there to get that ink into the page there and then in this the middle one we'll use a token of friendship you can put that there put that there and that is a token of friendship and I think I'll leave that as is now that's really cute love that And then you can tie that up. And then that's the little, little file folder journal. So we'll just do a quick flip through. So got this ribbon and then we've got the Kath Holden flea market stickers there. Um, also Kath Holden flea market stamps that we've used here. Sue's um, coffee dyed card paper. And then we've made this little tag just to go in here. Actually, you know what will look good on that? Add 
a bit of this. And I'm just going to staple that there with my mini stapler. Finishes that off, and I'll do the same for the one in the back. So that one there. That can go there. Right. And this is um, Sue's uh, coffee dyed note papers. And then we've got the pocket here. We've made that little journal card. And we've used the Kath Holden stamp just here. I love this colour. It's absolutely amazing. I do more tea dyed than coffee dyed paper in, in my own crafting. Um, another little tag there. And then that's the back. So it's a cute little project that you can make very, very neutral. You can bulk make them so that they're ready for um, projects. And great for using um, tea dyed or coffee dyed papers. Because then you add your colours in through what you embellish with so isn't that gorgeous so the size of that is three and three quarters by if we go over the tab by th um, just under three or the skinny part is two and a half so three and three quarters by just under three through the tab there. So that's really cute. It's so cute and tiny, as you can see, against my hand. <laughs> Love it. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. I'll link everything that I've used in the description box. Um, and there'll also be something extra special there for you. Um, when you look in the description box. So thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that project and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.